Alrighty, righty, righty. Welcome back. On this Tuesday morning, uh, we have today Division 3, Capullo Team League, uh, and starting off with the Red Zerg or Team Phoenix, it is Lion and his opponent, Sentinel of Mirage, it is Kret, under the nickname Slim Aglas. So, we haven't had a ZVZ yet in those series. And I'm quite happy about it. We are that we don't just cast all the time the same uh, matchup, so we can uh, check ourselves for a bit different, uh, a bit different enter kind of entertainment. <laughs> so it's not always TVP, not not always PVT, ZV, ZVT or etc. Anything else? But we're good to go. Okay, let me open my chat. Let me open the chat stream. Okay, everything is fine. And what we have here? Kret uh, doesn't want to waste time. Already fast pull before expansion. And uh, we're going to see pressure. We're going to see a lot of pressure. Lion put a... Yeah, first pull also after the hatchery. But uh, in the differences, Kret will not make one he would just spawn zerglings and try to uh, kill this hatchery before it even spawning so let's hope he make it let's hope it is possible we have gas we have four links on the way there is a queen there's also bangling that's okay that's a full commitment here uh of course lion sees those zerglings right he have the overlords in position so now it's the time fight with the time right we see uh, extra spine in the main for the defensive purposes and we're gonna have some micro with zerglings because they have to kill the hatchery and not die to the opponent zerglings so uh, of course Kret have more of them so that's very very important there's still more one queen banglings are morphing in there is already queen to defend so uh, hatchery is halfway done I mean halfway damaged Okay, we have some targeting. Good targeting from Lion on those Banglings. The one will get cancelled. Actually killed. And there's a lot of kills here. There's one more spawning here. So that can be a lot of damage. Good micro. Do not, not losing those. The speed is up. There's no bang, uh, Zergling speed for Lion. So that's going to be extremely important regarding the traits here. Those are sp Zergling sp uh, speed Zerglings are really good uh, against those... Uh, against those zerglings without it oh oh that was nice lion doesn't pay attention and that's a good detonation for uh cred but we have still those two queens there's still more zerglings coming but is it gonna be enough good micro from both sides so army value workers value just well, four Zerg, so four drones less for uh, for Kred, but the spine clover is here. There are three queens, bunch of Zerglings, and the longer it goes, the more problematic it will be for Kred, since those queens can block entrance to the main, and there is a spine to defend those Banglings to tank a lot of damage. Also with those queens, if it's gonna be microed properly, so uh, yeah. Still more Zerglings coming in, some more Banglings morphing at the natural. And I think we're committing here. That was a hold stop from uh, from Lion. I'm not sure if it's going to be enough. All the Zerglings are dead. Uh, good transfuses on that uh, sp 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 spine crawler, actually. So uh, we actually could get that hatchery. Oh, it's going to be so close. There are transfuses on the hatchery as well, so those queens are saving the day. The second spore is hitting, but is it gonna be enough? No! Huge commitment from Kret, and it paid out with killing this, uh, killing this hatchery, so... He's still in a good shape. He's still in a good shape. 
he he's not deciding to go for an extra hatch. He's still forcing Zerglings with Banglings. Oh, this can be crucial here. The timing on that Banglings. Oh, perfect. Lion didn't didn't count it out, and he just lost all of his Zerglings right now. So we have three queens with a spore that is slowly dying without a creep. So it will take a while to actually uh, actually make it. So it still can go both ways. There's still 10 Zerglings on the way from uh, from uh, Lion. Those Banglings will detonate a bit too early. The Crawler went down. The Queens are quite low. The Zerglings are still defending as much as they can. There was one Bangling just mixing in the group. Oh, that's important. That Bangling. Good micro from Kratos. is actually manually microing those, uh, those Banglings. So it's pretty, pretty decent. And there is a hold. And Kret is holding up here pretty well. Once again, slightly better micro with those banglings uh, on his opponent since he doesn't have a bangling nest. It's uh, quite uh, tricky here. The hatchery is under fire. There's just not enough lengths. Exactly perfect detonation once more. And the hatchery goes down. There's going to be nothing to defend it. Kret is going on the top of the ramp. The bangling is not morphing in. The links are targeting the spine. Oh, quite, quite decisive win from Kret. Really patiently waited off, waited off the the swarm of the zerglings that his opponent had. That was a really decent game from him. Well played, GG. First games goes in account of Kret. Short break. We're gonna start with another one. And we're back once more in a best of seven with our blue Zerg Lion from Team Phoenix and Kret representing Sentinels of Mirage. 1 0 right now for him. And yeah, the de decisive one first game. And oh god, he's still he's doing it again. He doesn't want to give it up. He just want to end it as fast as possible. So we'll see if our opponent who opened it exactly the same way or a bit more greedy style because we can see there's no pool or gas already on the way. So uh... we're going to stick to it. We're going to stick to the guns. <laughs> we're going to fire them early. So yeah, let's do it. Okay, exactly the same build as before. All right, all good. Oh man, breakfast with Starcraft. Lovely. Some croissants with ham and cheese. Making the day. With some drink to clear out the, the voice ways. Awesome. Awesome. And there we go. And there she goes. I'm curious if uh, Kret will go around. No, okay. Uh, the, the Zerglings will be caught. Lion probably knows what's happening because he just moments ago played against it, so... Uh... Don't he make any spore crawlers? No, not this time. 
Not this time. Okay, there we go. A bit later. A bit late. So I think he maybe didn't notice the, the Zerglings uh, early enough. Or he was saving some money for Lynx. So once more, Hatchery under fire. We're gonna have some crazy micro here. Zerg is quite low. With the screens already up and running, uh, Kret will have to just get back and wait for more reinforcements for Zerglings, uh, for Bangings, excuse me, already morphing in. So, let's see how it goes. So Zergling speed is complete, so we can get a full surround now on those Zerglings, almost. That was extremely close. Now the Banglings are rolling in, rolling, rolling, rolling. Nice straight one, nice. Oh my god, those banglings and the surround on links. Queen is just devastated in seconds of because of the mass of Zerglings and Oh my god, why is this is looking so good for creating those two games? Pretty pretty. Phew. That was fast. Even a Zer even a drone could get caught up in this. This is looking really, really good now. And okay, we have a this defensive spore, uh, spore, spine, excuse me, not spore, spine. Another two Zerglings caught. Losses, Jesus, 400 to 1,300. So, uh, oh, we're gonna have a nice wall off. This is a really good wall off with those, uh, with this queen and with this evolution chamber. That's very important. So the Bengals cannot just run in directly into the mineral line. And they got protected by those. Uh, Oh, okay, good, good, uh, good split here for Lion with those two uh, uh, banglings. He managed to kill the banglings, but that's not enough. This is just too much of a red zerg. They are two crawlers. Okay, still we got more drones. Five, make it six. The links are just unstoppable here for uh, for Kret. Lion, I don't know why he ran off on the on the ramp. And there's just no economy. There is three. Five workers to 12 for Kret. Very comfortable situation. And there it is. There it goes. 2-0 for Kret. Quite decisive win. And a short, very fast break too. For the next game. Just give me a second, guys. Let's, let's dig it. Alrighty, ready. So, let's get going. Let's get rolling, ladies and gentlemen. We have game number three: Terran versus Protoss, spawning top side of the map. Sentinels of Mirage innovation. The our innovation, of course. Yes, this is our innovation. And surprisingly, it's someone that I know really well, I've played with many, many times, many years, and also against the Protoss bomb spawn. Uh, the green one. So, Bombs was with me in the Drunken Outlaws clan for a long time. And he's still participating in that clan. He's helping uh, Team Phoenix this in this game. Uh, he was also registered. So, uh, I'm saying hello to my old friend from uh, StarCraft Division. So, I hope he's doing well and everything's going fine. And today he will be against my actual clan so uh <laughs> best of luck best of luck best of luck bombs good luck so um we had already innovation before in a couple of games as well in this division he was also playing division two 
for some of those of you that didn't know. With good results. So I'm looking forward for this to, the, uh, to this game. This map particularly not the best for him, but we can manage. We can manage. Fast expansion before Cybercore. Nothing unusual from innovation as well. So we'll have to wait for a, some kind of the craziness on the map, just a little bit, couple of minutes. Where did the probe go? Okay. I thought it's gonna get somewhere away, away, somewhere inside maybe still because the ramp was open. Is it the double? Oh, is it the double double reaper? No. Oh, so my, my mistake. I thought there's already one out. And there he goes, exactly, right? Yeah, 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 I saw it good. Okay, sorry. What? Why did I, uh, why, why did I thought, thought other way? So this is going to be a two Reaper build, but this map in particular is maybe not the best because this is the only entrance that you can get. So you cannot go around on the map or you can, can you cannot get this way by those rocks. So uh, sadly for... Uh, for innovation oh you cheeky bastard <laughs> third base that's why okay i saw it yesterday i i saw the game yesterday from uh from uh, uh was it art art or paxters i think paxters that was paxters game and i saw and i saw this build and i was thinking how in the hell is this gonna work out and i see Someone took good lessons. <laughs> Someone took good lessons from uh, from yesterday games. That this time just gonna be three racks instead of two racks build. So uh, very very similar. And as I understand, both of those players play in the dark. Yep. Nobody knows nothing. Nobody expects nothing. But this free base build, man. Oh wow, this is greedy as hell. Since the products will still take some, for the products will still take some time to actually get a uh, get a third nexus. So that's pretty confident. Innovation should be like e should easily defend this with those three raxes because of the amount of marines that he can uh, produce at the same time. So early, of course. So yeah. This is how it goes, and oh, that was a really important run in. Very, very nice from Innovation. Sadly, he didn't check the uh, robo timing, but still, he knows there are Phoenixes on the map. So he knows what to do right now. He knows the drill. He will be more, uh, more than happy to see this, since there's gonna be no uh, early, uh, uh, more aggression from stalkers or some, some. Uh, or disruptors or colossi two base or something like that so he's more than happy bounce is just now putting his third base looking for uh looking for this oh my god losing one phoenix actually he's losing what's up what's the tech what's 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 going on in the map and he doesn't scout the third that's extremely crucial because he thinks by now Looking, hey, we're gonna have a free Rex push with uh, Medivax and uh, maybe Siege Tanks, etc. And then, like, hello, over here, we have a hidden expansion. Maybe not hidden, but just not, he's not aware of it. He's just not aware of the expansion. This is gonna be extremely huge advantage for innovation. You can see yourself, they're basically the same on worker amount, where usually Protoss is already ahead. So really, really nice, good, uh, good gameplay, and plus a little bit of luck on the side of uh, of innovation. What important is this is a really, also a really uh, not an easy build to counter because this mass phoenix with uh, colossi, so we don't have that much marauders to tank, and we don't have 
any uh, any Vikings to to focus the Colossi, so everything will be have to be microed man manually. So those Colossi can survive longer with this build. Oh, that was a good scout. He sees double robo. He sees the uh, robotics. The oh, excuse me, not double robo, but robo uh, robo facility, the robotics bay. He's now fully aware of what's happening. That was the scout that he was missing. So, Palm's just now starting to saturate his third base. It's six and a half minute when innovation basically is fully saturated on three. Almost there, so uh, so it's a huge... And then we have... Oh, okay. All right. That, that That's a transition that I didn't expect actually here now. We're going to have a fleet beacon into air. Prada's air. Wow. Okay. All right. Let's go. Let's do it. Innovation is moving out of his first units. He will have a control on the map, but Palms is really will be really satisfied not to go anywhere because he will just be messing on those uh, carriers and etc. Oh, that's a nice observer here in this position. Uh, I think it's gonna be hard to to actually get it for uh, innovation. Extra upgrades are finished. Shells, infantry. We have to scan. But does he gonna scan the main once more? Uh, this can be this can be bad. This can end really really bad. There is a second. Okay, there is a second starport though. There is a Ghost Academy that's looking great, but is it gonna be enough? Oh, he gonna seize it? No, he gonna seize the second Colossi. There are more Phoenix. What? Okay, is it gonna be mass Phoenix? Really? Mass Phoenix with mass Colossi? Oh, this is so crazy built here, man. There are three uh, three SCVs dying for all those phoenixes, but it should be yeah, that shouldn't be more six even. Okay, that was some nice pickups from uh, from bombs. Oh man, mass Vikings now on the way. We don't need any production. Okay, there we have it. I was wondering if those uh, if those carriers will actually appear. We have as well ghosts. We have double Viking production. It should be fine. At least I hope so. Okay, fourth base will be taken. There is nothing to contest it. Supply army 90 to 70, 67. So this can hit well before the carriers arrives. Because, yeah, bombs have to de defend with this kind of units. He have to defend on one side of the map and maybe use the Phoenix to defend on the second. But that's, this is not how it goes this time. So uh, we have this medivac drop. We have to add it here and there should be damage. There should be damage here. But the reaction actually from bombs, not uh, not dying to this, uh, not dying to this. And now we can snipe some phoenixes. Maybe a battery, maybe extra extra uh, drones, uh, extra probes. Excuse me. This medevac. No, it will not land on two full medevacs for seven probes. Not the perfect trade, but still something was happening. But innovation you know, doesn't know still about those carriers, man. I'm a bit worried. I'm actually a bit worried about it because the fourth base is basically in favor of bombs. And the army value is now connected. The in income is now basically the same. So we have... Uh, so products reached the Terran uh, level. And there we have the scan that we was waiting for. I'm not sure... There are three extra barracks, extra... Okay, there is extra starport, diffusion core. Okay, everything is going the way that innovation should react on this kind of build. And I totally agree on this. But is it going to be enough? This is a triple carrier production, man. That's a lot. We have also eight Vikings. So that's good. The Vikings can uh, micro well against those carriers. But, yeah. We'll have to see. We'll have to see how it uh, how it goes in the end. If it comes to just one big battle, or we're gonna have some uh, trades, more gateways, more stargates. Okay, let's get going. Let's get some EMPs. Batteries are here. Vikings on the position. 
there's still a lot of phoenixes to prevent this. Okay. Good first EMP. There are also some disruptors, so it's going to be extremely hard to micro even with those. Vikings can take off the phoenixes. As well, siege. I mean, siege. Yeah, siege tech, I mean, photo cannons for the defensive purposes. So, uh, yeah. Tempest as well coming in. So, oh wow. Oh, this is going to be extremely hard now for innovation to, to break. This is the composition that it's really, really hard to break. Maybe some nukes would be nice. Liberator range with liberators for the ground units. Good, good, uh, good, good tactics. And now we have it. We go in. Good snipe of a couple of those units. There's still the battery. As I said, the Vikings will be targeting those uh, those uh, carriers. But yeah, the batteries are actually tanking a lot of damage here. Some interceptors are dead, but there's only marauders that are left to attack, and there's no anti-air now. So we have huge loss for the innovations. Almost twice of the losses right now. 42 army supply to 92, and that was that was the moment that I was afraid of. Is it gonna be enough? Because of this uh, ball, the Protoss uh, army will have a lot of yeah. A lot of firepower now. Is Bombs go oh, will decide? Bombs will decide to attack. He's definitely in favor right now. We have more marines, more air units. Everything is good, but the army is missing. The army is missing right now. Brothers have huge army advantage. Let's see. Almost. Oh, innovation caught off the position. And there we go. There's just too much. Too much of carriers. Too much of phoenixes. And just a bunch of marines standing there. That was a good try for innovation. I have to I have to admit, that was a good try with this first CC. Sadly, the, the thing is that he didn't uh, exp expose it enough. So Bombs is winner of the game one. GG well played. We're gonna head to game number four in just a second. Okay, all right. So, Bombs was the winner of game number one. The uh, green Protoss on the south of the map. And Innovation as Orange Protoss, Sentinels of Mirage. Excuse me, Orange Terran, Sentinels of Mirage. Good game from Bombs. Uh, trying to uh, out outsmart his opponent with this, with this uh, air transition. Really decent build. Sadly for innovation, he just scouted it too late and uh, tried to make a trade just without any succession under those uh, shield batteries that were su supporting the, the Protoss army. So now we're in game number four. Sentinel Summer is still leading 2 1. So still closer to the uh, final. Uh, final achievement of what is to uh, which is the win of those series i really hope so guys will win this time sadly sadly for us this uh 
Division 3rd have uh, two losses right now, and this is the round number three. But well, they're still gi gi giving the best of their uh, of their pos of their skills, possibilities that they have. They're giving their best. This time we have okay. We have an early, early, uh, early zealot. That's odd. I'm looking like I, I was looking for proxies. Maybe I was thinking like, is it on purpose? Is it specially done? There's gonna be a reaper. He can counter that that zealot easily. But okay. You want to put pressure? Totally fine with that. Not a problem. And they're gonna... Oh, they're gonna miss each other. That's a tricky move for bombs. But I think that bunker can be on time. Even should be, actually. Before that zealot comes. Because if he went straight, he would get... Uh, himself caught by the reaper. And there are gonna be already two marines to defend this. He should be fine. I think that you know oh, oh actually oh this this will be close this will be extremely close yep you got it but now uh, oh 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 is it gonna finish oh it's gonna finish nice even hiding those two scvs good good decision not losing a single unit very well done and we're gonna have a Twilight Castle. Alright, alright. Oh, we're gonna have uh, some pressure actually here. We have a Stalker, we have a, a Zealot, we have an Adept. And we have a, a Reaper inside the main of Protoss as well. So there's gonna be probes dying. At least I think so. I hope so as well. Oh, oh, that's very, very close. Good micro. That's one. There's gonna be a second one. Exactly. Good micro from uh, Innovation. Yeah, problem is he's not mining out from the uh, second base, but that's okay. It's still possible to actually defend this. Because, okay. Oh, oh, Marines. Marines is going to be microed. Nice. Well done. He should be fine by now. <clears throat> and there's also a Widow Mine. The Reaper came back. So, and overall... Free loss loses free SCVs as well. More resources lost for Protoss. So um so yeah. I think innovation went went uh, better on this trade. We don't mind drop as well available. We have two two gate robo opening. There's gonna be a couple of stalkers with blink. Coming up. And a fourth base third base coming soon alive. But innovation will not see the base. Okay, he saw the base, just barely. Stalkers are on the ramp, so maybe they will be able to intercept this widow mines. But Bobs doesn't pay attention. Oh, it's gonna hurt. Oh, good job. Good widow mine drop. Six probes died. Uh Medivac is surviving still. Maybe he can fake. If Innovation could fake this... If he? Is he? No. No, he's not. Bombs will not uh, not go for it. But still, 6 pros, a decent trade. I like it. Probably Innovation is happy also about it. Because this sets him up basically in the same income as the Protoss player. And now we're gonna have an... A Medivac uh, hunt. Since... Since the stalkers are oh no 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 that's not that wasn't enough. Since the stalkers will have the blink very very fast very very soon, and then we have two gate robo opening, and this is a build that I personally died so many times that was that's extremely fast, extremely fast two colossi, and when you attack the third Protoss should have enough to defend depends on how he will micro, of course if this these actually are going to be colossi. 
because I don't know if this is going to be actually disruptors, but I don't think so. That shouldn't. Yep. Oh, this is going to be some defensive play. We're going to have extra extra siege tanks. That's good. That's a good. Uh, that's going to be a good composition for innovation. Bombs trying to control some map vision with those stackers. It's just standing in front of the in front of the base. Innovation with his... Oh, there's no battery here. So Innovation can do some damage here with this Raven. Oh, hello. He missed click. Okay, no, that was the probe blocked the way. One probe, two probes. Three probes actually should die. Very well done. Mining time as well delayed. He still got energy for one more. There was a... I thought there was a drop. Okay. Looking good. Already make it five. This Raven is already paying himself out. In of bombs, he wants to actually blink. Does he want to blink inside here? Oh, I don't think it's a good idea. He will actually do it the moment that the uh, tournament will go out. Oh, that's a really good play from bombs. He want to delay this push as much as he can since the steam pack will be finished. The concussive shells will be denied, but still. That's one tech lap less. And then uh, there is a delay or oh, even on that CC. That's a good usage of a couple of those stalkers. In the meantime, once more we have uh, out of turret in that mineral line. This Raven have already 8 kills. Looking good. We have this double Colossi play. What I was talking about exactly. The moment that Protoss will uh, turn will go out. Protoss should have already 2 Colossi. But this is for siege tanks, man. The charge is almost finished. It is finished. Oh, that's a nice trick. Oh, that's a nice distraction from, from uh, innovation. Oh my god, this is so good. This is gonna look lovely. This is gonna be a lot of dead probes and a dead third base. Definitely. Definitely, a, or not. Almost. But there is a lot and there is enough. There's enough of innovation actually here. This battery will not be... Uh, enough to defend this actually third base up and going coming up oh man this is looking good this push is looking extremely nice the widow mine did it did its job it's already 11 probes dead plus this outer turret with the raven still annoying here four siege tanks are alive so this is looking great this is looking great for innovation 68 37 in the uh, army value those six are our six legs are shredding so well there is just one colossi left for the uh, aoe damage and i don't see nothing here actually to defend this so charge loss are still warping in but i think that's enough i think that's enough for uh for innovation and not enough for bombs that even the colossi is targeted some Reinforcement are coming on the map by innovation. I can see this bomb doesn't want to tap out, but the situation is just not not optimistic. Let's say it this way: third base up and running, fully saturated for innovation, looking really, really good. So, in just a moment, bombs will tap out. Innovation will secure the game number three for sentinels of mirage and they're gonna be one way one map away from the winning there it goes three to one. Oh, this is looking so good this is gonna be if the next game will be a win we're gonna have ourselves the first one of the of this uh division three series so uh hold on tight guys we're going there
And here we go once more. Ah, the first set of players, the Blue Zerg from Team Phoenix, it is unknown, versus uh, his opponent. 3 1 lead for the Sentinels of Mirage, the Protoss, Cosset. Cosset, actually, excuse me. Woo -hoo -hoo. Looking good. 3 1. And we are just one step away of winning the series. And I really, I, I, I cheer for Koshit that he's actually going to do it. We're going to have some decent games on our hands. I really think so. Oh, Unknown was thinking like, maybe we're going to expand on the south. Is it going to happen? Oh, oh my God, that was so close. Just half a second of, uh, of blocking away and of course you have a good scout of what's happening so he should be fine shouldn't be a problem a small a small graffiti of protestants on the opposite side why not he's also gonna be blocking some mineral paving that's nice that's nice i like it not not going back empty-handed to his uh, to his base with this prop, so that's good. That's good. Fast expansion, easy. <laughs> looking solid. The first uh, one and a half minute of the game, looking solid. <laughs> I had, a, I think, I had also a possibility to play versus unknown somehow, some way, somewhere on the ladder. Because I know these guys. I like. I see them often on the ladder sometimes. Not all of them, of course, but most of them. I think Unknown was also one of those players that we can meet up since it's a similar uh, similar MMR uh, um, scale from from two like from four and a half thousand to five k. So, because it is making an adept, but. What's next? What is going to happen? Third base four Zerg is going to happen, that's for sure. Since the Zerglings are here to block this. And the prop will say goodbye. Don't cry for me, Argentina. <laughs> okay, starport. There we go. And we have only one Overlord in front of the base to scout this out. So, of course, it should, should be fine. Unknown, of course, mass link, mass link drone production, and nothing else bothers him. So, because it will send out those two adepts, I think, yeah, there should be more than enough. The Zergling speed is coming. There are two queens already on the extra, extra on the way. So I don't find this build. The build is good. Excuse me. The build is good. I don't. I don't see this actually making damage. Since the, the Zerg have just enough. Exactly. He saw the Zergling. So he will be waiting for that Oracle. To, to, to fly in. And make some damage from, uh, I don't know, main or natural. And then... Uh, uh, maybe rushing in with those Adepts. Because the, we have already three Adepts on the map, right? Yeah, there's the third one. Oh, okay, it's blocking. Okay, because it saw, I think, those Zerglings. So he's backing off. Getting still that one link. Pretty nice, pretty nice. Productions. Okay, there we have the spore. We have nothing here. We have queens in the position. Not losing those valuable shields, please. Okay, it's not third base on up and running. So, that's not enough links to actually uh, kill it. So, I'm really happy. And there was a two drone pickup. Even maybe some larva. Nice. Great. That was cancelled. Uh, Twilight Council into extra double fort, so not a problem. This probe, ah, oh, okay, we have one dead probe, two dead probes, so uh, two dead uh, probes, excuse me, and one, uh, one dead probe and two dead drones. But Koshi doesn't pay attention. Hello, oh, it's gonna be close. Oh, that was close, man. That was extremely close. Charge lots into void race. Okay, that can work out. 
that actually can work out but in the meantime roach warren nothing to nothing to yeah, nothing to of nothing too crazy it's quite, quite standard for the zerg to get this build up and running but does he see what's this opponent playing no he doesn't he have map vision etc but he's still playing blind so he really doesn't know what to expect from his opponent Zergling trying to get some information, try to get in. This Oracle is still alive. Maybe putting some stasis wards later on would be would be a nice idea. Actually. Is he going actually at fourth base? Yeah, oof. Okay, actually, yeah, okay, three bases are basically fully saturated on, on minerals. It's three gases, enough for those uh, charge lots. Templar archives as well. Oh, wow, Kosti is going the same amount of bases as, uh, as Zerg. Insane. That's an insane build. I love it. Looking actually good. He's 55 workers to 65 versus Zerg, so it's pretty decent for him. Good wall offs, double robo. Like Sim City is really looking good. He's blocking the Zerg. He doesn't know what's coming. I I'm really liking this. I'm really, really liking this for Kosid right now. So question is just when he would decide to just move out. Okay, the okay, the Zergling spotted the charge lots. And uh I'm gonna have some hydrolisks into roaches. With upgrades, of course. Is one void ray is it gonna kill it some transfuses from zerg okay there we go that what that's what i was expecting extra 12 drones from uh from unknown to saturate the third uh, fourth base excuse me so but, but both of these guys are just macroing like like crazy and we have a moment that this this army should just move out. We have double robo, but we don't have any units. Okay, there there we have it. There are the double immortal production or just immortal observer part. Okay. High Templars are finished. Okay, and there's the overseer for unknown to just spotting out all the tech for uh, from Koshi. So. We have lurkers right now as well. Oh, this can be crucial. If only Koshit attacks before the lurker tech, I think he should be okay. We have an, uh, of course, the army lead for the Zerg, 67 to 38. Extra hydralisks are coming in, so there's going to be a lot of firepower upgrades. Are in favor of Koshit actually. He's making 2 2 right now. 1 1 is just barely finishing for the Zerg, so uh, he will have an advantage uh, in those upgrades in the, in the mid game. Since we're starting it already. Yeah, double immortal production. There we go. And there we are. Four High Templars, ten Zealots, two Immortals. Oh, that's a lot of firepower. Versus... Eight roaches, fourteen. Eight, excuse me, thirteen uh, hydrolisk, fourteen roaches, and more to come. to two on the way as well. So now we're gonna have this moment when Koshi will have the upgrade advantage that he should use. And uh, yeah, but there are lurkers, man. Uh, that's what I was talking about. If Koshi will only push before that lurker tech, that would be great because now the lurkers will just shred the the hell out of his army. So unknown will just will be waiting for him to come to run over those uh, lurkers, and there is just one observer. Okay, we have one observer on the land. There are clovers, there are observers. Oh, this can end pretty badly for him. But Koshit, okay, he's now aware of those lurkers. That's good. He knows. Oh, we're gonna have also air transition. Pretty nice. Vipers on the way as well. To get some binding gloves, probably some uh, later on some some protection for the army. Both almost max out. 
workers applies uh, similar everything is very similar it's just gonna now go into the compositions of those both armies and uh, uh micro how it's gonna go with those lurkers man this is gonna be how does he know okay he knows because he don't run oh oh my god those lurkers shred so much of those zealots man it's insane and there are already 13 of them seven plus four is eleven. Oh my god man it's 11 lurkers this is this is insane there's gonna be also a run by with zerglings but uh, cause it will be good then uh, more than enough to defend it actually gold base up and running soon so cause trying to secure uh, the uh the map the positioning on the map, you know, like he's trying to force his opponent to just move around his hatcheries, not to go out on the map, forcing him, like forcing him to just stay on those bases and he himself is expanding in the meantime, but not to run under those lurkers. That's the most important part, not to do it, just trade it well, eventually uh, do some run buys maybe left and right to use a couple of units in the meantime, producing those carriers for himself so it's very very important and then we have it oh that's gonna hurt two waves of uh of those lurkers some feedbacks maybe on those vipers they're still they're full on energy that feedback could be really really nice the observer is here the unit composition is running in that's some nice storms oh the immortals were cut off guard two immortals instantly dead there is the carrier the carrier have arrived on the battlefield so uh let's see that's a good storm that's a really nice storm over here maybe some feedback maybe okay good very nice feedback on those uh on those vipers oh my god he's just 2 hp kill it kill it <laughs> run by once more with roaches but there's gonna be enough photo cannons and z z and zealots to actually kill it The main army is still wandering around. We have 11 Hydralisks. So the Hydras will be the choosing from unknown to defend against those carriers. There's going to be no Corruptors yet. Okay, the Spire is on the way actually, but this should be more than enough to actually defend this. Oh, that's a nice trick. You're going behind the mineral line to get some kills, but still the gold base is up and running. And there's going to be a counterattack here because... Most of the Kosi's army is focusing on the right side, and on the left now we can, uh, we're just gonna get inside. Oh no, there's a recall. I hope he's not gonna recall under those, under those lurkers. Okay, first good storm, but there's just not enough. Where's the observer? Is there an observer of Kosi? Oh no, don't tell me there's no observer here. Okay, there is an observer right now, but the observer will be punished very fast by those, uh, by those hydralisks. So, okay, good revelation. Very nice cleanup. In the end, nine probes died, but still cleaning up those lurkers is very, very important. Because they are making so, so much damage. 33 hydralisks at the same time of the production. What the hell I'm looking at right now? This is just pure zerk insanity. 33 larva traded to 33 hydralisks. Damn. That's a lot. Do we have any high templar still? We have just one. Oh, that's so, so that was bad. That was a really nice pickup from unknown cause it went a little bit too much. A little bit too much on forward and he regretted it very very fast. Already two of the carriers died. Cause it would need to get some high templars. He doesn't have gas actually. There's no gas producing on that on that base here. We have no probes on the gas as well i think he didn't notice it he also doesn't have any gas over here so that's like six six gas four gas uh extractors that are not used by cosit and now we have a huge bowl of hedges and lurkers for the zerg good okay that was a good side storm but he's moving a, a oh no a move on those units even uh, parasitic clouds are killing the army from air army from the Protoss. That doesn't look good now. 111 to 78 for the Zerg. Mass Hydralisk with Lurkers and Vipers is really killing the army from Protoss. Good abducts as well. Nice targeting. 
is gonna be enough even more lurkers are spawning here so ah there's a nice storm on those clumped up units on those ra on this ramp well that's that's just not enough sir i have so much bank right now almost ten thousand totally gas and minerals where's the recall is he is he trying to flank this army okay he doesn't know about it I think Zerg doesn't know about it, but once more, Kosit is running in with, uh, with his full army under those under those lurkers and just random characters just dying. Oh my god, what the hell? That's a really good position for Zerg, just not to push too much, containing the Protoss now on the uh, on his side of the map. That what was just doing Kosit just moments ago on the on the Zerg side. It is going to be extremely hard to get out of here right now. With those lurkers, with those uh, abducts, exactly that what I was talking about. Oh, this is not looking good. That's a nice storm. Feedbacks? Nope. No feedbacks. Is there an observer? And we don't have any observer right now as well. Three observers in the production, triple robo right now here from uh, Kosid. Those carriers, no, those carriers cannot just fly under those hydralisks, no. You cannot do that. The vipers are just putting those carriers just for free. They're extremely, oh my god, this is double of the loss for Kosid right now. 30, 23,000 to 11,000. Oh, this is painful. He's still in the game. He still can manage, but he would just have to some way feed back those vipers and make perfect storms all over the army. I'm not sure if that is possible, actually, because all the abducts, the abducts from the Zerg are pretty decent. Never missed a shot, actually. That's looking really, really hard. Okay, now we have a push. On this high ground, but there are so many lurkers. There's a really decent storm, but those zealots are dying just in instantly in two seconds. And there's just too much. This is just too much. The Protoss army got evaporated. Cause it will have to tap out. GG for unknown. Well played. And we're gonna head ourselves to game number six. So here we are in the game number six. Team Phoenix versus Sentinels of Mirage. Koshi, the yellow Protoss right over here, just one map away from winning the series. And his opponent, the unknown, the blue Zerg. That was a hell of a crazy game. I'm very sorry for Koshi. I know how he feels. It was the win was just just away on the grasp of his hands, just so close barely barely making it and in the end the zerg just uh just forced him to to tap out a really nice gameplay really really nice just the, the power of hydrisk and lurkers is really not that easy that you can contest especially on that map so uh oh is it gonna no no i was i was hoping last same as the last game it's gonna be a maybe a, a successful block this time but it didn't work out so, so yeah, it's 3-2 still for Sentinels of Mirrors. Still, we, we still got the lead. Um, and yeah, I'm looking forward to this game. 
since the first one was so, such a banger. So uh, I hope the second one also gets some uh, some craziness in here. Because it is starting. Okay. I guess the same build. Oh! Doorbell! <laughs> Someone had a. Uh, uh, some visitors! Visitors up and running. Not a problem, not a problem. Luckily for us, we can just. We're not doing it live, so we can just skip this part and we can continue. <laughs> so that's very good. Okay, we got some trading here. Zapping, poking. An unknown with some vision on Kossit's natural. Kossit is going once more. Stargate Opera. I guess he's quite confident with that, so... Let's keep it this way. I'm also confident in his build and his skills, so fine by me. The first game, that was a couple of, uh, couple of drones dead for the, in the beginning, so making it uh, equal on uh, income. So I'm looking forward to see it again. I want more leaving the mark. Always to leave a mark as a product on your opponent's base. And then we have it. The adapt tool shade? Yep. Okay. Scouting a third base. Seeing. Okay, what's going on? There's gonna be a third adept. There's no production yet from the Stargate. No, not yet. So I'm not sure exactly what it's gonna be. I was okay. There's an article. I was waiting for that, guys. I guess I didn't spot it out. Okay, there we have it. Now we have that uh, trade. We gotta have two drones, maybe third. Uh... Not exactly the trade Kossid would like to have, because he lost two adepts for two drones. If he could kill, like, maybe two more, that would be awesome. But right now we have a swarm of links going inside. Oh, no, it's just eight. Four. Sorry, I thought he made extras. Just to kill the third base. Is it going to be enough? A couple of them are waiting. There is one here. Forcing to use the <clears throat> the energy from that oracle. But that should be fine. The drone... No, the drone is dead. The drone is dead, but the oracle will be more than enough to actually secure this base. Up and running. More sporkalolers. We have a roach warren as well. Extra gases. So, total standard once more. From both of these players. And we wait. We patiently wait for uh, for more uh, action to come. Those queens will deal with those two oracles, actually. Okay. I would like to see some status wards, maybe. I mean, some, uh, some trading. Oh, but careful, careful. You don't want to lose those units. And this one is actually quite low. We have some phoenixes right now as well. Extra charge with with the gateways and forges okay getting the creep done oh oh man that's just 11 hp that was so close is causing willing to check the fourth base oh he's not he's not plus one plus one on the way oh, uh, once again he will have the advantage in with those upgrades Evil Chamber's just starting right now. This one pesky, pesky Phoenix is tr trying to get some Overlords, trying to snipe something. Oracles. Killing random Zerglings on the map. Charge lots incoming, so let's hope this time Kossit will attack. 
I hope really before any uh, major uh, tech choices will be done by Zerg. So he can do some damage. Another fourth base so early. Wow. Damn. I'm impressed. I'm really, really impressed. We have the shades here. Oh, really good. That was a good idea. Just target the drones. If only Koshi targeted the drones because he's not attacking here. So the only way he could deal some damage was those two adepts. And the roaches are here, so there's nothing that he can stop. Right now. Templar archives, more upgrades, more gateways, more cannons. Good creep killing, actually, I love it. It's a really good usage of those oracles. They don't just stand around. They don't, uh, sadly, they do not throw any uh, status wards on the production, but still killing this creep is uh, crucial. So the Zerg doesn't just move out randomly on the map. And then we have this first push of those Zalats. On this hatchery, that should be more than enough to actually kill it. Oh, it's going to be extremely close. There are transfuses, so with the transfusers, this hatchery will not fall. Uh, no, okay. The transfuses are saving the day. Otherwise, the expansion would die very, very fast. Because should have right now 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 to 8 gateways plus stargate. No Robo? Okay, there it is. Double Robo as well. I saw High Templars before already archived, so that's good. He could... He could move in on that uh, on that hatchery once more, but there's so many Roaches. There are a lot of Roaches and a, and a tech switch as well, of course. It has to be done. Just random Ursadak. Just walking. <laughs> This culture is really low, it's only 300 HP. Let's try again. Four zealots, that was before. No, transfusic our transfusers are serving the day. Army value 8142 for the Zerg already, so. It is going to be extremely, excuse me, we have 82 drones, so now we're going to just have full mass army. We're almost maxed out. Unknown is maxing out on Ravagers. Cause he see this, see this with his Oracle. Extra Zealot spawning in. There are four High Templars with two or almost full energy for a lot of storms. Bangling speed is up and running slowly, so uh, we have only two cannons here. That's not enough to actually defend this army if it's gonna attack good status here on the trap maybe a little bit to the left but it can actually it can work out i'm not sure if that overseas saw it but man if it's had one zergling oh okay couple of zerglings are trapped high templars can throw some storms exactly that i was asking about oh my god those storms man oh damn Oh, Jesus, that looked nasty. Cause it, that was some great storms here. All the Ravagers and Roaches are red. They have to retreat. There's just not enough HP on them. They're just gonna get one shot by Immortal all the day. So random uh, Zerglings trying to defend. But we have 69 army to 110. Uh, Archon is just gonna be easily picked up. This is the banglings are running in. Oh no, the probes are not evacuated. Oh no. Whole expansion died. The army is separated. Where is the army? Where's the army from? Where's the army from? Kosit. He split the army a little bit on the left, a little bit on the right, and, and, and that was a downfall because he had nothing to defend this fourth. He lost all his mining. It was 17 probes for those banglings. And now we have Ultralisk up and running. We have Immortals though. So that shouldn't be a big problem. Because there's six of them. So they will just one shot. One shot and... Uh, one shot uh, 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 on Ultralisk. So that's not an issue. But... Kosh needs to be careful when he's moving out of the map. 
There's a recall before. There's a push of roaches already inside of main and natural. The wall was breached. And that's a perfect moment for him, for actually for Unknown to push here on that proof map. But oh my god, the storm, man. All the banging suicide with just one immortal. So that's a really nice trade. Also, also a status to defend this boss. Already four probes. And all the army. No, the army is blocked. Cause it. No. The splits are done wrong. And he's going on the map where the, the, the ultras are here. He shouldn't be doing this. Okay, the map, the, the roaches are clean in the main. You can rotate your army. Good. Oh, man. Koshit should play a little bit more patient. I'm not sure if those... Ah, oh, those banglings. Those banglings will morph and kill all the zealots here. And there's not a lot of them right now. The, the high templars will be open on the field. So he have to be careful. A moving. Oh, okay. High Templars are still alive and kicking. Those High Templars are under siege. Nothing's gonna happen here. The Bengis once more are running in, but okay, this time there is a good reaction. There will be no probe kills. Splits. Splits. No! No! Oh man, once more. 21 probes. Oh man, that hurts. That hurts so much. And right now we're pushing in. There is 102 to 112 army value. Good storms. One more. There's a lot of immortals. We have we have six more, seven immortals, man. Versus the ultralist and the roaches. That's gonna work perfect. But there's not much AOE. We have four high templars on a couple of storms, and the banglings are rolling. And there's clapped up army here. Ah, oh, that's a lot of damage. Good storms, but still, that's a lot of damage. And I'm not sure. There's no force fields. There are only storms. Once more, their army is clumped up. All the high templars are dying. Oh, gosh, oh, This is so painful. This is so painful to, to, to lose. Because now those high templars just are not on numbers. Immortals are cracking up through trying to out micro those zerglings but it's just too much there's just one two st storms three storms perfect storm but that's not going to be enough 92 to 177 because it will have to top out once more workers 57 78 there's not much he can do right now the army is dead where is his army he have just couple of Couple of zealots and uh, one stalker versus ultralisks that will just smash through those zealots with the roaches. I'm not sure if it's gonna be enough. The zealings are coming in into the rescue, and it doesn't look good. Shield batteries are saving the day, but still, I'm extremely worried for Kossi. Extra base up and running. The base are not contested. He's still just trying to survive, but this is a three times army value. Three times more army value. We have five ultralisks, five ravagers, more banglings morphing in, 22 links that are going actually to make a run by. The wall is not full, it's open, so the Zerglings can run inside of the main. And there we have it, the army is once more out on the map. We have this Ultralist here, just shredding through those Zealots, not dying at all. High Templars without energy for the storm. Arcas are getting surrounded. GG was cold! Oh shit, is losing, we have a tie into the ace match. What a day, what a game, man, let's dig it.
ladies and gentlemen who would have thought that we actually gonna have an ace match in a division three game uh bombs bomb right once more versus innovation good luck a fun gentlemen the winner of this match is winning the series so it just couldn't get better it just couldn't get better after two dramatic games with cosin and unknown i'm really have to tell you that was hell of a pvz i loved it i loved it every single time i watched it and i uh, hope you're gonna love it as well and now the ace on side delta pvp uh innovation with bombs had a tie in a standard series 1-1 one, one, just just before uh Cossit and uh Cossit and uh unknown game so bombs winning first game with air superiority and excuse me innovation winning the game number two with a mind drop into bio push and uh, looking forward to it so yeah so I, I i cannot just sit on my chair i'm so excited man i'm really really excited to see how is it gonna uh, end for those get for those teams both guys focused as much as they can knowing what to do the winning of the series on the line i don't think there's no pressure right no pressure at all so uh fast expansions both sides i feel like innovation probably gonna start with the same uh with the same belt so that's what's gonna happen Oh man, drinking, oh, drinking so juice is so good. Important for casting, because actually my mouth getting so dry when, when I talk so much by the day. It's really putting out a lot of energy, to be honest. I wouldn't ever expect that, that you can just sit, enjoy the game, and uh, suddenly you're like, oh man, my mouth is dry, I'm quite exhausted. <laughs> just trying to be focused because casting and uh, spectating at the same time is really not easy and uh, I'm trying to do my best if uh, if you feel like you enjoying it please uh, please support me with just saying that I'm doing a good job I don't need donations I don't need money I just need uh, some feedback feedback is my precious thing here oh first blood the feedback is most important for me right now. I, a couple of you guys ask me how I do it, what's going on, etc. for some details. But if I just want to make it straight, guys, if you if you feel like enjoy it, please just stick with me. Let's 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 have some fun. If not, it's also cool. I totally understand. There's like thousands of casters right now, <laughs> so uh, everybody would like to pick their favorite. So I, I cannot I cannot say that I have a fan base, but that would be ex like too much, a little bit of saying too much of uh, self uh, self promotion. That would be that would be an ass move. I, I'm I'm not that kind of thing. Oh, there we have it. Once more, is it a hellion here? Okay, that's good. I was thinking about the reaper. Bombs once more going into that uh, double gateway opener, probably in fast robo, and once more we don't mind drop. And oh, okay, the mule went down, and the second prop went down. Okay, there are some, there are some losses for innovation here, like economical lo losses. There are three units because there were like one probe, maybe. And oh, oh, this is crucial. Oh, this alien is it gonna target more? Oh man, two v two. Okay, now we're equal. One thing that was a perfect scouting information for innovation, right? He saw everything. And now he's still going on a Widow Mind Drop. He lost a couple of one Mule and two SCVs, but in the same time, he killed two probes. How important was that? But the drop is... Oh, no. Oh, no, he didn't saw it. Are you kidding me? Oh, my God, this is insane. How the hell, Innovation? How the hell did he do it? 
You got to be kidding me right now. He just moved four stalkers in front of himself. And the drop is in. And the mice are Poro. And it's going to be a blast. Oh. <laughs> I, cannot, I just cannot believe this. How much of luck you have to have with this innovation. I'm losing my mind right now. How the hell was that possible? I was losing 13 probes, man. And the drops are still in. It's still haunting. It's still dropping. Good reaction. Oh, man. Insane stuff. What a game already we have on the ace match. I just cannot believe this. Oh, is this probe actually gonna... I still, am I still gonna do some damage? Oh, don't tell me it's gonna explode. Oh, so close. But still, man. 17 probes in total with the with the uh with the hellion that drop just barely was next to the vision of those stalkers man i cannot believe this i just cannot believe it insane shit income value of course in favor of innovation he have a couple of more units. Oh, perfect. Even the observer was picked off. So Bao doesn't know if he can just randomly jump in. There are two siege tanks. So if one is going to jump in on that natural, the second one will support him. This is perfect. This is looking so good right now. I can't, I just cannot believe this. I, I, I'm, I'm speechless. Wow. I under I would understand Bounce frustration if he would watch that uh watch that um watch that series. I'm just I just cannot believe this. This is looking so good. And once more the uh Hero Raven, free kills. And that we have to push. 51 57, excuse me, to 30. Bombs will have to retreat. There's not enough firepower actually in is there a blink? Okay, he have a blink. That's good. The shells are not... Okay, the concussive shells are not uh, being researched for the Marauders. That's a little bit sloppy. Because then you could just slow down those stalkers and just push, get some extra kills. Our uh, innovation, I think he forgot it. That's a little bit of a mistake. He should sooner or later get it. Do we have gonna have... No, we're not gonna have a two base play. We're gonna have a free base. The pro, the SCV was just, just walking around. And we have an... Uh, we have a... We have a war prism for potential micro units. Steve Pack is in. We have a guardian shield. There are just two zealots. Actually, bombs is going a little bit too aggressive, in my opinion. He should stay under uh, underneath the base, but he doesn't want to apply any pressure inside here because the siege tanks can just put him themselves behind the rocks over here. There was a drop coming in. Bones is also putting a prism, so there's going to be a two-prong attack. Uh, okay, the prism spotted those medivacs, so now we have those units going inside. Here, the siege tanks are still waiting for this uh, attack. Oh, this is good on powering. There's our free gateways with this uh, cyber core, and there's going to be no more warpens of stalkers. Oh, this is so crucial for this game. Already 30 uh, limit advantage, and there we have it. Siege tanks are smashing ear uh, the uh, army in the main is not cleaned yet the re return of uh, some of the units from the base number three two one have to be done innovation is still putting pressure on that third base the drop will survive no the drop oh that was a bit sloppy from him the drop will not survive still 30 limit advantage so the, the exactly the 30 limit on that army the immortal was picked up the zealots are charging in there are so widow mine still to support bombs is like on the brink of his life, he's still not powering those gateways. Oh my god, that was such a bad pylon. But in the meantime, still, my stalkers here with those zealots are raining. In the meantime, Raven is still killing some units in the natural. Innovation is already saturating full the third base. This is looking so good for him. He needs to be patient. He needs to wait for the reinforcements because those widow mines gonna hit his army exactly. Aggressive blink under this under those siege tanks. The siege tank will be clear, but the reinforcements are here. The, there's a lot of marauders. There's a lot of steam marines, and he's pushing in. 
The win is so close for, for, for innovation. The game is so, so close. He still have a lead of 40 army value. But the reinforcements are not here. The reinforcements are inside the natural or the main base. Exactly. Fourth base coming in. Looking good. Bombs is still... Still producing well on those three bases. But we have, of course, a adv worker advantage for innovation. He's getting a fourth base up and running on the 10th minute. Extra barracks coming in. Looking well. Looking confident. We don't have no AoE damage. There are only now uh, Colossi that are... Uh, on showing on the map so oh my god this is so crucial bombs will defend this uh, innovation shouldn't be putting pushing his luck he needs to wait for reinforcements and then he should be more active in the meantime war prism is still alive it's still here uh not making any weapons though we have one one already one one already uh, done for Protoss, plus one armor all on the way for Turin. And there we have it, we have the warp into the side of main. So, what will innovation decide? That's a lot of zealots. Also, disruptors are on the map. Reinforcements are coming in. The zealots will be picked off. Probably turn into the base number three. Double drop. I think was spotted by that probe, right? Bombs is not unpowering uh, powering those... Your, uh, what? Why? Why bo Bombs doesn't see it? I think he's too focused on a drop to actually spot the drop with the... Okay, yeah, exactly. With, this, with, this, uh, with those buildings that are unpowered. The fourth base is up and running for innovation. Defending off of the of that uh, drop in the meantime he's using his uh raven as well there will be double medivac drop inside the main the army of brothers is nowhere to see right now he will have to warp in so this is gonna make a lot of damage maybe innovation will hunt down for that robo facility and robotic bay exactly that's what i was thinking about extra warping of those zealots inside of the main this is going to be extremely close the disruptor will appear but in the same time we have just two Colossi are open. There is no reaction from bombs. Just now reacting to it. The robotics debate is done. The drop was secure. The fourth base is... What? Oh, man. Oh, innovation didn't spot it out. He used the... Uh, he used the, uh, the movement of the uh, uh, CCs and just traveled the CC in the wrong place. The fourth base will be under fire. Once more, the drop was cleaned up with a couple of uh, losses for the Protoss. The base was canceled. Once more, army value 9678 still in favor of innovation. The fourth base will be up and running in just a moment. It's a really good production for him right now. Plus two coming in. Uh, do we have no we still have okay the equal equal on that army supply but there are a lot of disruptors he needs to be careful one disruptor missed second one also missed just getting just slightly one damage and maybe oh my god that was so close okay good 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 micro from innovation not allowing to disruptors to get any hits but there's so many zealots there are no widow mines actually to support this army bombs will be putting pressure innovation and kiting the hell out of his army but he needs to be careful. There's so many zealots. Exactly. There's not a lot of stalkers. He can just for free escape. Where are those widow mines? There's no widow mines though. He could at least at least have one or two. Bombs expanding on the south side of the map. Oh man, we have a, such a good ace match over here. That's so much pressure for innovation. Really good job, but bombs is hanging on still. He's still behind on worker supply. But he have decent enough army to actually stop the Terran. Let's see what is gonna... Is it gonna be a Doom Drop? Don't tell me it's gonna be a Doom Drop. Okay, we're gonna get south. We're gonna go south, but the army is here. <gasps> is it gonna be... Okay, I thought it's gonna be uh, interrupt, uh, intercepted, but... Bombs is staying there. There are ghosts with Marines and Vikings just moving across the map. Maybe if he will end up getting on that ramp, he could snipe some ro robotics facility. There are only Marauders here with uh, with some window mines. Okay, we see the army here. The moment... Okay, the moment the innovation saw the army, he's scanning the, the fourth. And he sees there is nothing here and the robotics bay will be exposed. There we have it. Unpowered. 
we walking in getting snipes on some probes oh there's gonna be a lot of production kills the army of Prodes is moving back Bones is looking for that interception of that second army but is it gonna be enough good EMPs oh there's gonna be a lot of a lot of stalkers here with uh, zealots to actually intercept it and there we have it we're gonna have an attack we're gonna have disruptor shots one disruptor shot was good the second one was bad colossi are getting picked up one by one the marauders are marauders hit squad is really doing the job man this is so crucial so crucial amount of uh, protoss army was delete oh man Whew. innovation man bombs lost two colossi three disruptors losses five thousand more in uh in minerals and gas army wise 105 75 75 workers to 42 almost double the production bombs is still hanging on this is insane innovation is making the good decision he is moving up left and right to to to, to spread the army of products he's not keeping it clumped up but man bones is defending like like crazy the base fourth base is up and running and now the positioning is good for the turn he can move in there is no actually there will be no reinforcements coming from the left side he can focus just on one way the zealots are getting torn apart there's no aoe damage good emps on the stalkers there's just one disruptor one colossi joining in but is it gonna be enough innovation is running kiting for his life right now because those zealots made so much damage man and that's just not enough army supply to 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 s storm f in front of the uh, protoss army oh my god man so how many trades we gonna see here pumps has already doubled the limit behind this is insane and he still manages to, to defend it but this is too much i think the liberators will just be the killing blow Innovation is just one step away from winning the series and securing the win versus Team Phoenix 4 versus 3. There's nothing to defend those bases. He's just trying to trying as trying to snipe as much as he can. I really don't know what bombs can do in this situation. There is just too much terrain. There are EMPs, there are Vikings, the shield battery is providing some support, but there is just too much. It's called GG Innovation is killing it. 434 says the loss of Mirage. That is a perfect when oh my god i just cannot believe this oh man this is so fucking good this is such a good feeling man this is such a good feeling and this deserves for a special sound of the winning team today yeah! <laughs> oh my god you got to be kidding me right now man what a series innovation oops excuse me why did i change it for team phoenix my bad my bad what wait okay in the middle yes oh man that was hell of a series i just cannot believe this what i just saw man this is insane uh thank you team phoenix of course for the series uh lion bombs unknown and of course our winner team today Kret, innovation and cosset well done gentlemen well done that was a hell of a series i love it i just can't stop looking on this this is perfect this is perfect Whew. okay uh this gonna conclude uh this gonna conclude our series for today we are clear with the cast Sentinels of Mirage, Division 3, Round 3 is the winner, the first win of the series for us. Congratulations, guys. Seriously, hands down. Clapping like hell. Lovely. Lovely view. Uh, thank you for follows yesterday. We had a couple of follows that I didn't mention, I think. I think I mentioned, but I don't know. Uh, Ant, Baxters, Baltors, uh, Games, and Aries uh, did follow the channel. Thank you once more gentlemen for uh living uh uh leaving uh your uh, uh follows here and your comments on the channel much appreciated and i can say stay heavy guys i'm gonna see you tomorrow on uh, once more we have two more series to cast we have division two round two game 
that was delivered for me today and we have a round uh, three of division four because round two we had a stop we th there was no team actually to play against so we had uh we had a pause and we're gonna be introducing the team in the round three with uh, another series so stay heavy thank you one more time for today and uh stay strong i will just remake my stream runs right now to talk a little bit and take care of yourself